Hey, it's Mike from Sony Slope Homestead. Today we're going to talk about buying an acreage using your VA loan or possibly buying land using your VA loan and how some people tell you that you can't do it. It's an outright lie. Stay tuned to find out. Dude, I have great news, man. I'm going to buy an acreage with my VA loan. Uh, man, did anybody ever tell you that you can't do that? You can only buy houses with your VA loan. You can't buy land. Dude, what are you talking about? Of course you can buy land. Who told you that? Oh, my Uncle Ronnie told me that. He's a Vietnam veteran. You know, Ronnie, the one that lives in the trailer park? Yeah, you know? You remember Ronnie, right? Oh, Ronnie. Yeah, I remember Ronnie. He's a freaking idiot. So, what else is he lying to you about? Uncle Ronnie's not an idiot. You're an idiot. Stupid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out, man. I'm just giving you a hard time. You want to go do karate in the garage? Karate in the garage? You want to go shooting? I thought you'd never ask. So in 2018, your max amount for a VA loan was about $458,000. That's more than enough to buy the acreage of your dreams. Now the problem is, you've probably had a lot of people telling you, <clears throat> yeah, you can't do that. The VA is not going to allow you to buy an acreage. Well, that's just simply not true. I mean, the VA has no maximum amount of land that you cannot finance through a VA loan. I don't know where people come up with this stuff. I don't know if it's just them not wanting you to get ahead or just probably being misinformed. But I'm telling you, you can buy as much land as you want using the VA loan. Now, there are some things and some, uh, some standards you've got to stay under to buy that land. But we're going to talk about that here coming up in a little bit. Now, there's no limit. There's no set limit on buying land using the VA loan. But you just have to come up with the rest of the money. Because like I said earlier, $458,000, or sorry, excuse me, $484,000 is the max amount of money that you can use to buy your land or your acreage. Now, mind you, you have to qualify for that. So your debt to income ratio has to be perfect, but that is the max amount of money that you could be financed for. Now, that's not saying that you can't buy a farm or an acreage that's bigger than that. You just have to come up with the rest of the Farms, money. my gosh. Yes, you can buy farms under your VA loan. A lot of people didn't know that. Now the tricky part is, is that farm can't be a commercial farm or a business. And it has to have a residence on that farm. Now that's not saying that the person that is living there now is not a commercial business. It just has to have a resident. And you're not buying the business. You're buying the land and you're buying the house. You're not buying the crops, cattle, or anything else that is... Uh, turnable or consumable on that property so your grain silos your barns all the you know all the stuff that goes with it except for implements tractors stuff like that that can't be financed all that other stuff the permanent structures that enhance the property those will be valued at fair market value and part of your loan the next thing I want to talk about is comparables so when you're doing this process the biggest thing that shoots people down in the VA process is comparables. You have to have comparables to the land or the acreage that you're buying. Now, if it's a construction loan, that's a little different story because there is no house. There's nothing to compare it to. So you just gotta be tricky on that. That might hang you up, but it's possible. Now, in my instance here on the Sony Slope Homestead, I bought a property that didn't have a whole lot of comparables. I um, had the house and the property amount that I had was more than everybody else around me. Now that gave me a couple hiccups in my VA loan process, but they made it work. And trust me, if you got a good loan officer, they'll make it work too. So the only thing they had to do is they had to adjust my land in my house and they had to make my house worth just a little bit more than the land. And I'm not talking a lot. I'm talking like $2,000 more than my land, if you know what I'm saying. Because my comparables, they just weren't adding up around me. Everybody around me had one acre, two acre, maybe three acres. I'm sitting here, I've got 10 acres of land on my homestead right now, and it really messed me up for comparables. But we made it happen. So don't think it's not possible. You can get that homestead, you can get the acreage of your dreams. You just have to be patient. Another thing I want to talk about is inspections. So you're going to have inspections through a VA officer who's going to come to your house. He's going to inspect your home 
this process takes the most amount of time. I think at one time when I purchased this house in Texas, it took 30 days before the VA inspector could make it to that house. Here on my homestead here, it didn't take that long. But things that they look for, because I've had friends, and I'm telling you, this will happen. They will knock you on broken driveway. They will get you on missing railings in the house or on the patio. So if you're buying a fixer upper, you might run into some issues, but it's still not out of the question. You just have to go a different route. So for instance, I had a friend who went this route. He had the same problems, tried using VA loan. They wouldn't finance the house because it was a fixer upper. And we're not talking a complete dump. It just needed updating and it was missing some railings and the driveway, just like the things I mentioned. So what he did is he went and got a USDA loan. And once he financed his house with a USDA loan and made his repairs, he, w he went back and got the VA loan that, that he needed to begin with. Now, I'm not gonna get into USDA loans right now because we're gonna talk about the VA loan process, but maybe in a future video we'll go that route. So back to inspections. Once you've had your inspection, there's a couple other things that need to be done. If your house has a septic, if the property has a septic, you have to get the septic inspected. It has to pass. There's nothing worse than going through the whole process and they inspect that septic and it's bad. Uh, you know what? It's on the home buy or a homeowner to fix that if they really want to sell it to you. Next thing we're going to talk about is zoning. It is super important that you check zoning, especially if you're going to buy an acreage and you're going to raise animals. Don't believe the previous homeowner their real estate agent and don't even trust your real estate agent when it comes to this because there's nothing worse than buying a home investing money to find out that you can't do nothing with the property so you need to check your local offices on the zoning laws because the bad part is that they you may go and you may see horses a cow chickens you might see all this stuff on this property but the minute they move and sell the house to you the zoning kicks in they were grandfathered and you don't want that to happen because it's happened before. People have bought in properties that they've seen all, oh, we got plenty of land by us. There's there's an acreage over there, there's an acreage over there, they've got horses. Bam, you buy the property, guess what? Eh, no more. They were grandfathered in. Now you've got a property that you can't do nothing with. And there's no frustrating, there's nothing more frustrating than that. So guys, if this helps you out, great. I didn't have this information when I was looking for land. And I just want to pass this on to you. So if you like what you saw today and you want to stay tuned for future content, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and stay tuned for more videos from Sunny Slope Homestead. Looking for my land. So if you like what you saw, stay tuned for future contract. Uh, mm, man, dude, for real. And I need to stop looking at my face. I need to look at the camera. So back to inspections. So after your VA done, cut, cut it out, oh my God. Okay, just remember every like I get, it helps me feed this beast right here. This beast. Her name's Jasmine. Say hello, Jasmine. Jasmine, ah, she got me, she got me an eyeball. She got me an, oh, she got me an eyeball. Oh my gosh. What's up? You're hungry again, aren't you? You're hungry again, aren't you? She's hungry again. Yeah, she's hungry again. She's hungry.